I just got off work and I gotta fix this thing because the other day I got pulled over and I tried to rip my drift button off because at the time I was thinking oh this all happened in like three seconds in my brain but I thought oh he's gonna know what a drift button is and then he's gonna think I drift all the time he's gonna give me a ticket or more likely to so I thought if I rip it off then why not right it took two seconds so I went full force just and freaking busted this thing so now it's on drift mode all the time and I don't know I broke something so yeah things are really hard to get off I think I know what I, I did though I um, I'll show you once I get this off actually what happened was somehow I pulled this out of the hole here which uh, that's not it but yeah I have to get it on there so I'm gonna figure that. so I'm starting to think this is unfixable this, there's two ways you could do this. You could stick it in here first, right? Stick it in here first, whatever. So first I struggle with getting this up forever. And then I finally got it up and then the button wouldn't reach and you can't pull it out far enough to get the button around the end. So that way it doesn't work. And then the other way is to slide it all the way through. But then this can't get high enough to get over into the hole. So I, uh, yeah. Like sure I could cut this so that the button will slide through there or crap like that, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to cut a little bit of this off. Finally got it working properly. <sighs> While I'm here I also got this rubber boot so I can get rid of my ghetto tin foil. Alright, I'm a little freaked out right now. Look at that. That was not there before. That's fresh paint. That's what it's supposed to be like. So, my transmission must have lifted all that way and crushed that. There it is. A lot better than tinfoil and I shouldn't be able to hear the transmission at all now either. So I'm going to be installing my adjustable suspension arms that I just got and the reason being is uh, this is my alignment right now after I put my coilovers in and you can see it's really not that great still. The camera it's not symmetrical and um, that's because they adjusted the camber and caster accordingly to try to get it to drive as straight as possible which it is, but it's still not how I want it. I have too much camber in the rear and all this stuff, so. And people don't really realize how important alignment is, especially for drifting or any kind of driving, really, but. Yeah, that's why I'm putting these in. All right, so I just finished that side. I'm gonna re-record all of that because, uh, for reasons, but. Tension rod. This is this is reduces bump steer. Rear upper control arm. This contr uh, adjusts your camber, which is the angle. If you if I, you're talking about the front wheel this way, that would be negative camber. That would be positive camber. And then there's tow, which is again, if you're talking about the front wheel, that would be towing in and that would be towing out. So that's what this tow rod back here does. Um, eccentric, I think they're called, but it just means they can have, that's how they can adjust the, adjust it without having adjustable arms just with the bolts. So you want to mark them so that they are uh, the same when you put them back on or similar. So I can just see that the hoop is at the top and then it's kind of right there. Yeah. All right. So now I'm going to start. I got all the nuts off, 
you can start removing these items. And I'm trying to decide which is the best way to do it. So this is what these those uh, bolts look like, and uh, yeah, the washer is just locked in place. And then you can see it; it'll uh, move with the bolt, so you can put this whatever angle you want and adjust it. Also, if you ever do this, you can't get this bolt out without having the rear upper control arm out of the way. So you have to do this after this. Alright, so I'm going to send you guys back in time when I was really confused about these um, toe arms here, but it's fine. You can see the width here. Yeah, I'm going to talk about it from before. So this is taking forever, and I'm pretty annoyed now because I thought I was getting a good deal. The guy that sold this to me was works in an alignment shop, and I went to this alignment shop specifically to talk to him, just about cars and stuff, and then... Um, anyways, we got talking about arms and he said he had a bunch that he had kept at his house and so sold them and stuff. And it looks like he sold me S13 arms because these, or I'm assuming they're S13 arms, but these are too short. Like the, yeah, you can't get it, they're too long, you can't get it short enough. And then these are as well. The width of the bushing is like a quarter inch too small. So that I saw first, and you can just hammer that bracket or just close it, and like it's that will move. So that's not that big of a deal. But that kind of is. I don't want to drill a freaking hole. Like, uh. So I got the bolt in, and all I'm gonna do is, um, Start tightening this down and this is gonna bend in and just clamp shut. And it, it's fine. My camera doesn't die here, but I got the rear upper control arm on at the back, and then I'm gonna put this uh, tension rod on because I have to put this bolt, like I if this is on, I won't be able to get the bolt through, and then I'll finish up. So it's definitely the easiest to get out. So right now I'm loosening the, or I'm extending my upper control arm just to get it on, and then I'm gonna have to shorten it again but I've already extended it quite a lot. And there, that's perfect. All right, so if, if this arm, or if this arm doesn't go to the same length as the OEM one, then don't even bother trying to get these to the same length as, like, don't bother about getting them the same length, just get them in and then worry about it because it's not going to work and it, that's why I was having such a hard time on the first side but this side went a lot smoother because I just got them in there and now I'm going to adjust it and so right now I have a crap ton of positive camber and it's probably all out of whack but let's see where's this guy uh, okay so That's where it is. And then we're gonna get some camber when we squat down. So the problem I'm having now, I just put the coilovers in and 
it's not lined up straight. Uh, I might end up just ramming it in there. I'm sure the bushing can take a little bit of stress on it, but um, uh, let me squeeze over here. But before it just <clears throat> slid right on there, so I'm gonna I'm trying to make a couple more adjustments to see if I can make it a little better. But if not, then I'm just gonna end up ramming it on it. All right, about to lower the car down. Man, nothing broke. I just went for a short drive and it all seems fine. Um, except I noticed, well, it makes a little bit of popping noises and stuff, but maybe it'll go away, whatever. I don't really care if it does anyway. And I know uh, this coilover is leaking, so I'm gonna need to get a new one. But luckily I just got these and they have warranty, so still pretty annoying though. There's the OEM tension rod, and uh, that's what it looks like before. So because this has bolts on it and this doesn't, obviously need to get some. So I already got, I already got them beforehand, and they look like they'll work. I didn't really know how long to get them because I didn't actually know what they were going through. But I just bought them anyways and they sh they'll probably be kind of long, but actually maybe not. They'll probably be perfect. And then washers and lock washers, obviously. That's gonna be mint. Bam. All right, I'm finally done. Got them both in. These front two took a quarter, not even a quarter of the time as the, the rear two. It's pretty much been working all day. Like It's getting dark out now. I started at 5.50 and I took a couple breaks, but I started at like 10.30 or something like that. So it's been a full day. So I'm just waiting on spacers right now, and then I'll put my wheels on. That's what you'll see next. All right, this is the uh, alignment you guys saw earlier, and this is my current alignment. This is after what you guys just saw. You can see that on the wheel I was working on through the episode. I it wasn't too bad. I had negative two and a half degrees and a bit of toe, but that's what it is now. So after they gave me perfect alignment. You can see how much better that is compared to this. It's insane how much... I still remember exactly what the car drove like when I first got it. And it's insane how much just coilovers and these arms changed how it, how it drives. Pretty cool. I'm going to wash my car right now and hope that my spacers come in today. It says they're supposed to and then I can just bring it home and put my wheels on right away. I refuse to put them on while it's this dirty. You can't tell right now because it's all wet, but it's, oh yeah, you can. It's really dirty. Once I get my wheels on, I'm definitely gonna wash it more. So I got my spacers. And that's what she looks like before I put them on. Alright, so I didn't get to record anything yesterday because I had a friend over and I was kind of in a rush to get out of here. But there it is. Bam! So mint. I kind of wish I had 18s. These are 17s, but it'd be... I don't know. I just think the wheel wells are huge on S14s, so it'd look a little better with 18s. But I'm overall pretty happy with it. I already 
so dirty for me. driving one day on it. Not exactly sure what I'm gonna do on the car next. Uh, I'm kind of broke right now, so I can't buy anything, that's for sure. But uh, I'll probably be doing some drifting soon. So you can look forward to that. And yeah, that's about it. Make sure you like the video and subscribe if you're new.